Hi and welcome back to Lavender Cocoa Kitchen. Well if you want to make a vegan buttercream but you don't want to use nuts like cashews for example, I'll show you another way to make a buttercream using an ingredient you may not have thought of using in a sweet dish but it's very versatile ingredient and that is cauliflower which of course is a very healthy vegetable, very rich in vitamins and minerals and antioxidants, high in fiber, but also really low in calories. So we can actually use the cauliflower to make a nice creamy buttercream without using any nuts. So I've just got some steamed cauliflower, I've just steamed it until it's really tender. So we need about one cup of this. So just push it down a bit. We need to get it quite firmly packed. Okay, so then we're just going to blend this and smooth. Okay, so when it's made a bit of a puree, we're just going to add the other ingredients. Some melted cacao butter, which is the fat from the cacao bean. Now you could use coconut oil if you don't have cacao butter, but this actually gives it a more of a chocolatey flavor. So we'll use about three tablespoons. Okay, so for the sweetness, I'll just use some maple syrup. So about three tablespoons should be plenty. Just some vanilla, so a couple of teaspoons. And you could also add some cinnamon, just for a little extra flavor. About, uh, well, I'll put about one teaspoon. You can put more or less, or you can put a different spice like cardamom or nutmeg, whatever you prefer. Salt, just to bring out the chocolate flavor a bit. Not too much. We're gonna put our cacao powder. And cacao, of course, is full of antioxidants and it helps to boost good mood. Uh, a very tasty and healthy ingredient. Um, we'll put about half a cup. To make it nice and smooth, a couple of tablespoons of almond milk or any other plant-based milk. Okay, now I just need to blend it till it's smooth. Okay, so you may need to mix it a bit. And if it's a bit too thick like that, you can add a little more milk to this so it will blend a bit better. And I'll add another tablespoon of milk. Let's see if that blends a bit better. A half a tablespoon. So I put about five tablespoons of milk in because it was quite thick. So as you see, it makes quite a thick frosting. And depending on your blender, you might need more or less milk. So what you should do now, and obviously if you blend it more, you can get a more smoother mixture. So it's best to put it in the fridge first and cool it down properly before you want to ice your cake. So I'll just do that now. Okay, so after I cooled down my cauliflower 
buttercream. I'm just going to whip it in the mixer just to give it a bit of a lighter texture. So I've just whipped the um, cream a little. So obviously it could be smoother. If you blend it better, then it's going to be a smoother result. I probably didn't blend it as well as I could, but it's okay. So you can just use it to um, frost any cake that you like. If you want, um, you can always double the recipe if you want to make a larger quantity. So, well, there you have a buttercream made of cauliflower. And it can be fun sometimes to ask people to taste it and see if they can guess what's in it. I have tried it with people and no one's actually been able to guess that it's got cauliflower in it. I mean, my son did say bok choy, <laughs> which is a bit similar, but he didn't actually guess it was cauliflower. So, and obviously the chocolate taste will take away the vegetable taste anyway. But just see, you can test it out and see if anyone can guess. <laughs> so don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.